Hello friends, let's solve this Harvard entrance exam together. I tell you it's very simple, but somehow tricky, okay? So you have to be very smart. Now, to answer this, this is just an algebraic fractional equation, okay? So when you see something like this, what you need to do, because it has involved a fraction, you need to look for the LCM of the denominator, okay? And remember, this denominator here is an expression. So automatically, the LCM of the denominator becomes the two fractions. The two denominators will be the LCM. Knowing fully well that each time you have an expression at the denominator, remember this is called the expression because we have two terms that are joined by an operation. So each time you have an expression at the denominator, the two expressions become the LCM. So to answer this, you are going to begin with solution, okay? So we have it that the LCM is simply the two expressions, which is x plus 12 and 3x minus 1. Now, to answer this, what you need to do is you're going to multiply each of these terms by this LCM, okay? So if we do that, we are going to have multiply this by this LCM. So let's see what we have. So we're going to have 5 all over x plus 12, okay we are multiplying it by this so see what we have okay then 3x minus 1 you notice that this and this are the same so you can easily cancel out you'll be left with these two so we're going to have 5x bracket 3x minus 1 then also multiply this by this lcm so we're going to have this is 8 minus 3x all over this is x plus 12 okay so what we have at this denominator is 3x minus 1 so we have 3x minus 1 we are multiplying it by this solution which is x plus 12 and 3x minus 1 did you see it so you notice that this and this are the same so it cancels out you'll be left with these two so we have bring down your negative sign so you multiply these two we have 8 minus 3x put it in brackets is an expression okay then bracket x plus 12. I hope you are with me there. Now, is it equal to? Now, what do you do to the right side? You do what you do to the left, you do to the right so that the equation will be balanced. So to do that, what do we have? We are going to now have, so we have multiply 1. This one will be multiplied by the LCM. So we have 1 will be multiplied by x plus 12 and the 3x minus 1. Did you see that? So let's simplify. So we're going to use this now to multiply this and also use this to multiply this. And if you do that, we are going to have this multiplies this gives us 15. So we have 15x squared. Okay. When you multiply this, it will give you negative 5x. I hope you're with me there. Then let's multiply this. Keep this aside. Multiply these two. Okay. So if you are multiplying, use this to multiply this and also use it to multiply this. We are expanding. Then use this to multiply this and also use this to multiply this. So A to multiply this to give us 8x, okay? So what we have is 8x. Remember there's a sign here, subtraction. So this value you are having here, you have to put it in brackets so that this sign here will affect it. That is where the trick comes in, okay? So you have to be conscious of this sign. So that was why we brought it down. Then this expansion, put it in bracket. 8 multiplies this, give us 8x. Then 8 multiplies 12, we give us a 96. I hope you are with me there. Then use this to multiply this. It gives you negative 3x squared. Okay? Then use it to multiply this. It gives you negative 36x. I hope you see that. Now everything is equal to multiply this when you multiply one with everything it gives you back the same so let's multiply this two this will multiply this and also multiply this this will multiply this and also multiply this so x multiplies 3x is giving us 3x squared so we have 3x squared then x multiplies negative one will give us negative x then 12 multiplies 3x will give us 36x then 12 multiplies this will give us negative 12. Did you see that? So we are done with our expansion. We just need to simplify further. So we are going to now have, this is 15x squared minus 5x. 
Remember, this negative sign has to affect everything you have in this bracket. I hope you remember that. So in that case, we are going to have this will expand with this to give us negative 8x. When this multiplies this, it gives us negative 96. Did you see that? When this multiplies this, it gives us positive 3x squared. Okay. When this multiplies this, it gives us positive 36x. Everything is now equal to 3x squared minus x plus 36x is it minus 12. So at this point, what do you do? You just need to collect like terms together. So to do that, we are going to now have, this will now give us the ones with x squared are the ones we want to collect first. So this is 15x squared, okay? We've taken this. Then the next one is 3x squared is having a positive sign. Did you see that? Then you notice that the next one with x squared is after the equal sign. Remember there is an equal sign here. So because it's after the equal sign, if you want to take it to come to the left side, it, because it's positive, it's going to be negative. So we're going to have negative 3x squared. Now let's go to the ones with only x. So we have negative 5x, okay? Then followed by this, we have negative 8x. Now, what do you have again? We have positive 36x. Then the next one with x is the one at the right side after the equal sign. So you see those ones with after the equal sign, remember, it has to change sign as it comes to the left side, okay? So this one that is negative, as it changes position, is going to be positive x. I hope you're with me. Then this one will now be negative 36x. Did you see that? Now, the next to collect is the one with a uh, constant the norm the ones without variables so if you go to this one you have negative 96 okay so we have it again the next one is the one after the equal sign which is negative 12 which we are going to add to both sides it becomes positive 12. you see that we've been able to remove everything at the right side okay and because of that it will be equal to zero i hope you understood what we did so let's simplify again this is going to give us this plus this plus this this will cancel this so we are having 15x squared okay then add this up this will give us negative 13 plus this will give us 23 so we have 23x okay okay plus this x we have 24 and 24 minus 36 is going to give us negative 12 I hope you are with me. So we're having negative 12x, okay? Then the next is add this up. This minus this will give us a negative 84. And everything is equal to zero. You see, we are forming an equation. And this equation is what we call quadratic because the highest power of x here is 2. So what we do here is to solve. Using any method you understand better, let's solve this equation quadratically. Remember, you can choose to reduce this if you want. If you don't, work with it that way. But let me reduce it, okay? So to reduce this, we are going to have, so what we have here, the common factor here, the common number that can divide each of these terms is 3. So I can choose to divide each value by 3, okay? Just to reduce it for easy solving. Then divide this by uh, 3. Then also divide this by 3. And if you do that, you also divide this. So this is giving you 5x squared. Divide this, you have this. If you divide this, this will give us 2. So we have 28, okay? And everything is equal to 0. So this is what we now have. Now let's solve this equation. What you do here, you notice that we are going to use factoring method. So because the quotient of x squared is 5, I'm going to use this 5 to multiply this, okay? To do that, we are going to have, this multiplies this will give us negative 140, okay? Now get two numbers that when you multiply it, it gives you this value here. And when you add them, it gives you this one at this part, this value. So where do you get those two numbers from? You can think. Now the two numbers, you get them from the numbers that can divide 140, the factors of 140. Now, what do you think the numbers are? Let me reduce the thinking for you. The two numbers we can choose are, what if we choose 14 and 10? Looking at what we have here, okay? 
then what sign are we going to use we're going to have negative 14 and what sign for the 10 we can have positive 10. now if you multiply this it gives you this then when you add this it will give you negative 4. did you see that so what it means is that to answer this now we're going to have 5x squared then replace this value with these two so we're going to have negative 14x plus 10x so that when you add this up you see it will give you negative 4x then return this minus 28 okay and everything is equal to zero so we're going to pair them pair it and then collect the highest common factor so to do that you are going to have you notice that x is common in the both okay so let's bring that x out then use it to divide this. If you divide it to give you 5x, use this x to divide 14x. It will give you negative 14. I hope you are with me. Then bring down your positive sign. What is the common number? Highest common number here is 2. Okay. So we're going to have, bring that 2 out. Use 2 to divide 10x. It will give you 5x. Then use 2 to divide this. It will give you negative 14. Did you see that? And everything is 0. So you observe that the two values in the brackets are the same. So just pick these ones outside. So to give us x plus 2 and pick one of these in the bracket, which is 5x minus 14 and is equal to 0. So what do you do now? What it means is that is either that this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So we have x plus 2 is equal to 0 or 5x minus 14 is equal to 0. So what do you do? We are going to now have to get our x, subtract 2 from both sides. So x is going to give us negative 2 as the value of x here. Now for this, what do you do? Add 14 to both sides because it's negative, okay? So to remove it, in that case, you have 5x is equal to 14. To get x, divide by the coefficient. And if you do that, x is going to give us 15 14 over 5, or you can have it as 2 whole number, 4 all over 5 as the second value of uh, x. And I hope you learned a lot. Let us know how much in the comment section. And please remember, sharing this will help more people to learn the skills we just displayed. You can ask questions. I will be there to answer. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.